What's up guys, Chris here, back again with another market video for you guys today. In this video, I want to talk about Thursday flipping and also some of the content that we could see today on the market. Uh, before we get into it, if you guys can, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you guys are new around here, that would be absolutely amazing. Uh, all the socials will be in the description, my free trading Discord, my Twitter, my Instagram, and then also my uh, Twitch, which will be going live on after this so let's get into it now we always talk about thursday flips as you know buying cars that really aren't being affected by anything else that's in the game and they are popular cards so today might be that opportunity tuesday uh is going to be a decent day in my opinion if we do see some panic today with the release of you know some of these new freeze cards um, if you go into the store, we should get new promo packs today uh, at 6 p.m. I know there's 50k packs right now, but I do expect people to open up some packs today, and that could give some supply to some of these meta gold cards uh, that have had a decent rebound from Sunday. So if you look uh, at some of them, and I'm actually seeing it right here, but you know, for example, if you go to Sunday uh rashford was like 120 on sunday right he was like 122 i think he went down yesterday all the way to like yeah 121 ish right he then rebounds back up to like 127 to 129 uh and then now he was literally just down at like 120 so if you guys can get him around like the 120 and under like this for me would be a solid thursday flip uh i and also one of the other things about this car that i like is that he's predicted into team of the week so if he does dip today uh if the news tomorrow at 6 p.m comes out that he is in team of the week you are going to see his gold card start to get pushed up a little bit because people know that he is getting a team of the week or if they didn't know he was getting a team of the week and at 6 p.m they're surprised they might go panic by him kind of like what we saw happen with veron on friday where people panic bought him uh very high like up to like 217 so look out for rashford something i would also like be on the lookout for today in my opinion would be uh some of these pop of the cards that are out of packs right now so you've got three cards in particular that i'm looking out for i'm looking at pogba i'm looking at veron and i'm looking at uh winaldum these cards if they do dip today i think this is a good opportunity to get in on them as they are out of packs i believe the road to the finals are out of packs for another like eight days or something like that six seven eight days so i would really uh consider looking at veron if you can get a 190 uh pogba if you can get like a 125 uh and where's when on this list as well when anything around like 21 ish uh i bought my one at like 22 and under i already sold one but if you guys could find him at 21 22 uh that would be okay from me uh another like this week as well i think a lot of people are using um, you know a lot of these low budget car or like low to mid budget cards uh, because of the untradeable aspect but in saying that uh, a lot of people won for icons last week so in my opinion why not try icons again this week um, I was quite surprised last week at seeing the icon market rise as much as it did so if I'm looking at some of them right now how am I going to determine what icon I can buy for Thursday well it's quite simple actually uh, and this is for any icon that is pretty much under like 700,000 coins because realistically why would you go buy an icon for more than 700k you could probably make a little bit more uh, return on investment if you buy like six or seven of one card that's worth like a hundred thousand coins so if you take a look at this Crespo right here he went from 236 on Wednesday all the way up to 263 by Friday now icons by the way like this friday graph shows some of the early morning friday uh and realistically we didn't see much panic last friday so you know with this if you look at a graph right here right he's been 253 uh he's also been like 239 right right here this is what i would do i would go onto the market and i would try to find somewhere around that 235 because what i like to do is as long as i can break even on the card i like it so you look right there he's 249,000 coins now if today at any point on ps4 you guys find him in the 230s again right 
say he doesn't even rise on Thursday for whatever particular reason people don't want to buy this week, whatever, right? Well, at least you could still break even and probably also make a little bit on the card because they are sell icons. They are going to get pushed up a little bit, most likely. Um, and yeah, you would do something like this. You would try to find them on the low of their fluctuation. So let's give you another example just to kind of give you guys, um, you know, just more, more cards to really look at. Uh, another card to look at would be like Luis Hernandez here, right? Now, I know we're getting a couple strikers today, uh, but they're going to be super expensive cards. If you look at this uh, Hernandez, he was 374 on Wednesday. He went all the way to 426 on Friday morning. So if you look at him today, he's hit a 413, right? If you look at yesterday, uh, he hit a 405, right? He was 389 lowest today uh, and actually 383. So he has just rebounded back up to like 392. Uh, if again, I can find this card at like, let's say, you know, 375, 380, not only can I probably profit just a little bit on like right now, I can also... Um, you know, make a decent amount on Thursday when he does rise in price. So this is what I want you guys to be looking at when it comes to icons uh, for this week, right? So you see a 392 right here, right? I'm going to try to find like a 380 for that. So look at some of the icons, you know, that, you know, did rise last week. I'll give you guys a couple right now. Uh, like Luis Hernandez is fine. Uh, I believe uh, Gattuso went up last week. Baby Nedved. Nedved was a good riser actually last week as well. Let me show you guys this graph. Uh, he went from like 325 all the way to 366. He went up a lot last week. Uh, so again, if you want to look at Nedved, you see 350s here, down to 330. Uh, he actually is really low right now compared to where he was. And I'm, I'm trying to think of any left mids that got leaked yesterday uh, in the team. I don't think there is. If I look at yesterday, he was actually 345. So this is one of those cards that I'm really starting to get interested in. Remember, baby icons are out of packs, guys. So this is going to give us a great opportunity if they do drop whatsoever to really get involved. So I'm really involved with this right now because, first of all, he was 350 this morning. If I can find a 325, not only can I profit at 350 already, but if he goes to 370 on Thursday, this is what I'm going to be doing. So... Look at icons, in my opinion. Look at some of the baby icons out of packs that are super usable. Okay. If you look at some of the Team League prediction as well, you've got Lewandowski, you got Benzema, you've got Rashford, you've got Kimpembe, Hendanovic, McTominay, Firmino, Morata, uh, Suarez, Teo Hernandez, right? You've got a lot of decent players. This Team Week is going to be good, which means the market's going to do very well this week on Thursday because... When the market has a better team of the week, they normally get better team of the week packs. There's more coins coming onto the market because these players are somewhat expensive. So again, I'd probably be looking at some of the out of pack special cards, okay? Now, who would I be looking at in particular? Look at cards that link to the SBCs uh, are cards that aren't even up that much from, you know, from, you know, whatever they were at before the objective came out or the SBC came out, right? If I look at this Ubamakana right here, okay, this is one of those cards that I'm really looking at uh, for myself, right? Last week, he went from 138 all the way up to like 145. Now, that's a fluctuation. So that means you could probably get him at 130 on Wednesday and you could probably sell him at some point at like 148, 149 on the fluctuation. So yesterday... He had a nice spike, right, because of the um, the Limer SBC. Usually on Thursdays, people do actually uh, SBCs because they get these coins into their account that allows them to do the uh, SBC. So uh, Umakana for me, not only because of just a nice investment in general, he's a French center back from the Bundesliga. I like this as somebody that you guys could look out for. Try to find him in like the mid 140s if you could. Uh, on a fluctuation, that would be something that I'm looking at. Uh, I would be looking in for Courtois, maybe like 115 under. Um, I'd probably be looking at like Valverde, maybe like 225 ish. Um, and just kind of look around, see some of these like top tier cards. Rule Breakers, again, are going to be really good to look at. Uh, they're super rare cards. It's been forever since, uh, since these guys were in packs. Uh, one of the cards maybe I'm looking at is like an Alex Tixer. 
he actually did pretty well last week, I believe. Uh, Wednesday, he went from 171 all the way to... He did hit 180s, by the way. That's a lie. He definitely hit 185 because I saw him selling at that. So try to find him maybe in like the, the high 130s on a fluctuation. Uh, this Jimenez card, I'm trying to think of other center backs that are getting released. Uh, I don't think there's anything crazy. So this Jimenez would be somebody for me. There's no center backs coming out. I know Kim Pembe's coming out, uh, but that's really it. No, there's nothing crazy there. Uh, what I would do, you see this right here. Uh, 211 goes all the way to 220. He does go up a little bit last week. Tried to find him at like 190 and under. Um, he does already hit a 199. And, you know, worst comes to worst, you're breaking even on these cards because if you look at these graphs, they are still hitting certain like fluctuation points, which you can break even on. So that's why, like, for me, when do you need to buy these cards? Well, you could buy them today. You could buy them tomorrow if you want to. Uh, some of these meta gold cards, like if you want like a, a KDB or if you want a, uh, I don't know, like a Timo Werner, a Mo Salah, uh, a Sun, an Abami, right? Any of these type of cards that you guys want to go and, and look at, you guys can maybe look at some of these buys today. Uh, Saudi Omani would also be one of those cards that are up there for me as well um you know he's like 220 and this car whenever he like plays against me man i am just i i'm a nightmare when when i have to play against this guy because he right now he's 230 uh if you can find this anywhere around the 220 mark man this is a really good card um and i think just too low in general at the moment for how good his stats are um now Fumpin has him right now at 226 so like this would be that opportunity where you guys can you know maybe uh, capitalize on Fuppin making mistake. That's something to also look out for, by the way. If Fuppin caps an undercut, please take advantage of that because people do look at the Fuppin graph uh, or Fuppin price before listing on the market. They're not, uh, they're lazy enough to not really look at the market price. They just look on Fuppin. So just be on the lookout for that. Like I said, I think your gold medals will do well this week. Um, you know, Pogba, I think even Conte's in the 275 range. 280 would be okay this week like i said rashford furlan mendy uh wouldn't be too bad i mean these cards are really cheap right now they're getting into that really affordable price range um if i look at a guy like uh sun here right i mean look how cheap like sun is right now like this is just like some crazy prices but again if you could find sun at like forty thousand coins man this for me would be just like a decent card to flip i think a lot of people would definitely be going out for this guy um, so take a look at some of this stuff. Uh, like I said, these past specials are going to be huge. Like I said, the rule breakers, um, you know, if I go look at the first team as well, uh, is there anybody like Kamara, Andre, French cards, right? I think this week, a lot of people are going to migrate to like, well, and they always do by the way, but French teams. Okay. Because you've got the Dembele, you've got this striker France card, by the way, right? So if you look right here, I think France is going to do very well this week. Because if you take a look, uh, you've got a French striker there. You've got Pogba. You've got Varane. You've got the Dumbelli, the St. Maximin. You've got a lot of French this week. And for people to uh, maybe link some of these cards, you've got the Kenny Lala as well. Um, what they will do is they will do a lot of like French things around them. So look at French. I'm, I might even look at French icons as well if i were you guys um just kind of looking at some of these like top ones uh let's go icon let's see how, like what french icons we can look at um maybe like a Thierry Henry. um i wouldn't look at like a cantona um who else would I look at maybe like petit would probably go up a little bit um you know like things like that i've probably been looking at a lot of french stuff this week uh to go up so i hope you guys did enjoy this thursday flipping video make sure you guys can get on some of this stuff uh, today. Maybe there's a little bit of panic with the promo. Uh, and then tomorrow as well, if you guys want to be patient. Remember, you guys can be patient with this stuff. You'll get them on fluctuations. Uh, and pick the price that you like for some of these special cards. Hope I guide you in the right area this week. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in a video soon. Peace out.